You say, Pastor, this was supposed to be a good series. I'm taking you someplace good, but I can't take you someplace good until you know you need to go someplace good. Amen. It, 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 you, you don't know that you need to go to a good place. You got to start here at the very, very beginning and to know that the word of God is a mirror and it shows you things that you don't want to look at sometimes. Amen. And the word of God is like a two-sided double mirror. It's not just a mirror in the front. It's the mirror in the front. And you realize there's a mirror in the back and now you in the front can see in the back. Wow. Didn't even know that was back there. Oh, it's back there. Amen. The word of God is like a mirror. It's God's eyes upon us. Let me take you someplace else here. Have you ever been just sitting around, hanging around, and you realize you kind of feel something on your face? And you start doing that. Maybe you got a little something hanging somewhere you shouldn't. You just, but you feel something on you, you know? And most of the time, especially if there's no one around you or you don't want to call out the potential embarrassing situation you were in, you go to what? A mirror. You know, sometimes there's things in our heart and we don't even understand what it is. There's things in our life we go through we don't even realize what's going on. And the Word of God can help us kind of identify that thing. You know what I mean? Place. The Word of God's really good like that. But all of that to the human flesh does not feel good. Can you agree with that today? None of that to the human flesh feels good. It doesn't. I'm not trying to be super hyper spiritual on you and say, Oh, I love the Word of God and it just cracks my... It's hard sometimes to put your face in his face number second second kings what did elisha do face upon face hand upon hand why it's hard sometimes to see these things but if we don't understand the power of the word of god in locating us then we can't ever step to the victory that god has for us because here's the next point the mirror of the word of god shows us the perspective of truth that is around us let me give you another mirror illustration. You go look in the mirror and you see yourself clearly, right? But you also see other things around you that you can't see by your limited human perspective, don't you? You look in the mirror and you see the dresser that's behind you, don't you? Or you see the, 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 the whatever that's behind you. A mirror has an ability to broaden your perspective and see things that you can't see. A mirror has the ability to help you understand things that are there that you can't understand in your limited ability to span around your world, doesn't it? Your, a mirror has an ability. You know, someone asked me the other day, he said, how do you get your head so, just so bald? I said, here, I have a set of clippers and I have two mirrors. And if you do it right, you can get a 360 degree view. Do you know that your view in your human condition is limited? And you may not understand this, but your human condition is, is, is wired to see negativity. Why? Because your human condition is pre-wired to see humanity. Your human condition is not pre-wired through the fall to see divinity. Through the fall, it's pre-wired to see humanity. So the mirror of the Word of God has a funny way of starting you where you are, locating you, but then taking you around to see the greater perspective. 